All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Steve Brown, and I am here with the one, the only. Look at this. This is the album, Know It All. You need to know all about this. You need to know all about her. 19 years old from Brampton. This has been a ride right now. You're on a wave for real right now. Yeah, it's crazy. Even care about my well-being. Starting off doing covers on YouTube of songs. Now your song is not even good. This is your original track with over 50 million views for your here video, which is nuts. It's crazy. Literally, it feels like it was a week ago that it had a million. I remember it hit a million um, and I was at my best friend's house and we celebrated and we were like, oh, she was in <laughs> tears. We were so dramatic about it. And now it's at 50 million just a couple months later. It's crazy to me. Did you think that this song that relates to you and your friends would relate to your parents' friends too? Um, no, but it has, and that's why it's insane. I yeah. never thought that I, they, you know, when I get messages from like 40 year old men, mm -hmm. they're like, you know, I went to this gathering the other day and I <laughs> thought of your song and I didn't like it and, you know, I didn't want to be there. It's crazy to me to think that they can relate to a song by a teenage girl. The rest of the album, there are some fantastic songs on there. I know the next single is Wild Things. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to us a little bit about that one. Yeah, so that song, I feel like in a weird way, it's kind of like the continuation to here. Mm -hmm. Because here is saying, you know, I don't really belong here, I don't want to be here. And then Wild Things is saying, you know, if you don't really have, if you feel like you don't have a place, or if you feel kind of odd in your own space, um, he, you know, the absence that you feel can be your place, and it could be where you can live, and you know, you don't have to ever apologize for being who you are. A lot of my fans are people that I would probably have gone to school with and been friends with, and I'm not much older than them. Than them, I'm not much wiser than them. You know, I'm kind of at the same level of life that they're in, um, and so it's crazy that they look up to me in the way that they do. But I'm just happy that they can have someone they relate to. And when I see that they relate to the things that I'm feeling, because all these songs are, of course, what I'm feeling, yeah. it's cool to for me and it's comforting for me to see that they understand what I'm going through too. At 17, you have a grown man mm. sitting there. <laughs> Singing along to a song about being 17. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you do? But that's what your music is doing to everybody. Mm. It's resonating across different ages, across different demographics. Um, what's next for you musically? I know this tour is massive, and you got yeah. a few months to go on this. Of mm. course, sold out shows here at the Danforth Music Hall, which is yeah, incredible. Crazy. Talk about, first of all, the experience of performing at home. There's nothing like coming home and seeing love from people that you went to school with or your family. It just it really feels like home, you know, it's awesome. You started off, of course, not wanting to be in front of a camera, not being mm. wanting to be in front of a crowd. Mm. Your mom conned you into all this. She did. Yeah. yeah. How's how she's <laughs> taken all this in stride as well? She's um I think we're all kind of um trying to adjust to it. We're all kind of shocked about it, of course. But she always says, like, I always knew you were gonna do this, so I prepared for it a long time ago <laughs> and you know how moms are, but she, <laughs> she's amazing. So holla at me. Can we just talk about some of the comments on your YouTube? Do you read all these comments that you get on social media? I mean, I, I try not to anymore, but uh -huh. I used to read them all the time. I, once in a while I do, but then I regret it sometimes. Okay, I don't <laughs> want you to be nervous. I'm gonna read out a few right now. Ooh, okay. All oh right. my gosh, okay. It's <laughs> first one. I imagine myself just walking by the beach listening to this song on repeat. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Thank you, that's a good one. Please sing at my funeral. Oh my gosh, This no. is what pe people love, your music what and I your style. Your I, what would you sing at someone's funeral? Oh, baby, I I would buy her music even if she was singing her shopping list. That's amazing. This is what people are saying about you. We are wow. excited for your career Thank and you. where it's going to go. We're so proud of you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see Carr, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>